This is the smoothest, most comfortable 9mm I have ever shot. This is the IWI Jericho 941S, and it is an awesome gun. Um, I sold my Daddy Eagle. I had a, a Desert Eagle with a 50 cal barrel and a 44 Magnum. If you want to see that video, check it out there. I got a range review. It was an awesome gun. Uh, however, I sold it to provide some money to get new guns. Of course, I had to get the Baby Eagle just to uh, in its memory almost. Um, this is the 9mm version. You can get the gun in a 40 Smith & Wesson, a 45 ACP, and it actually came with its own caliber, which was a 41 AE. Uh, 41 caliber, why you make a gun with its own specific ammo, I don't know, because it just alienates it a little bit from the, from the market. You know, you want a gun that ammo is readily available for. How often do you see 41 AE on your gun store shelf? Um, other than that, you know, they do make other versions, so if you're like me and you want to get something that's readily available, you get the 9mm version. Um, it is a metal frame gun, so it has some good weight to it, and of course with the 9mm, there's hardly any pop at all. It is one of the short slide versions uh, of, uh, of pistols. It is a copy of the CZ-75, um, which was a huge, uh, really, really well-made gun, and uh, in 1990, IWI said, hey, we can make something like that. They got some parts from Tank Folio, uh, who will also make a very similar gun to the CZ-75 as well. And the uh, IWI built this. Originally, it was actually called the Uzi Eagle, uh, which was a very cool name, and I wish they kept it that way, but eventually it kind of got the name Baby Eagle, just for some very slight little resemblances to, uh, to its big brother, the Desert Eagle. Uh, it's a very, very um, solid gun, like I said. The finish on it is like this matte kind of finish. It's not smooth, and the only thing that's really bothered me about the gun so far is how easy it scratches. Um, the first day I took it out, I was interested in using it as an IPSC gun, so I brought the holster and I had it out and I was holstering it and using it, and just after the one time use, there's already some, not scratches, but where, like you can see little marks and stuff just from holstering it for one day. And uh, you know, even with cleaning and stuff, like the, the slightest little brush on it um, will give it a mark. So that is one of the downsides to the gun is if you plan on using it a lot, it is gonna get beat up, it's gonna get marked, and it's gonna lose some of its value pretty quick. The gun also has the Picatinny rail on the bottom if you want to put a flashlight on it or a laser or whatever you might add on. It is a double action, single action gun uh, with a decocker lever on the top. Not all of them came with the decocker and this one is actually on the slide. I don't know if that makes a difference to some people, but this one, um, the decocker is actually up on the slide, which is slightly out of reach if I turn this way. When I have my, my regular pistol grip, it is slightly out of the way of the thumb. Um, you do have to kind of move your hand around the gun. Um, same with the release here. If you look at the release on this side, I don't know why if I, my thumbs are short, but this gun, I just can barely reach it. Um, especially from the shooting position, it's almost impossible to reach with my thumb anyways. Now the way I bought the gun is I actually bought it in a range kit. The range kit came with the gun three magazines, as well as a holster, which is a pretty nice holster, and a pretty crappy mag pouch. Uh, it's a double mag pouch, and uh, you know, it's not the greatest quality. It's something I wouldn't use in an IPSC match. I would certainly get something better than what it came with. Uh, but that being said, they were nice little add-ins. Uh, it did come with a really nice IWI case that was custom fit for the magazines with the cleaning rods and the gun and everything, and, and it did come with a pretty nice case too. So uh, hats off to that deal. Costs about, I think it cost me around $550. Somewhere in that range, I found a really good deal on it online. The biggest thing I like about the gun uh, overall is the feel, how it fits in your hand. It is really, really comfortable to the hand. Um, it's, it's not a huge grip on it, even though it is a double stack magazine. Uh, it's only 9mm, so it's easy to get your hand wrapped around it, and it's very, very comfortable. Uh, the trigger is really sharp. Um, on the double action, there's a long pull to it, um, but with the single action, there's not much pressure to pull the trigger at, at all. So, um, I'll tell you, it is a hair trigger once it is ready to rock. Uh, so I do like that. 
sights. Uh, you can adjust the sights for windage. It doesn't come with any extra sights, so if, you, uh, if you're not happy with your elevation, if you're shooting high or low, you're going to have to change your ammo uh, or put brand new sights on it. I do find with this one, with the ammo I have, I have some surplus Ukrainian stuff I've been using. It does shoot high and maybe, um, I don't know, it's just maybe a, a light bullet or it might have a, a lot of powder in it. I'm not sure which. The gun's very easy to take down if you have to do some quick cleaning. Um, all you do is you just push the slide back a little bit and there's a couple dots right here. Uh, when you push it back and you line the dots up, you just push the slide release through from the other side, just right here. You just line them up, you push them through, the whole thing comes out and the slide comes right off in one piece. So it's pretty cool the way you take it down, very easy to do and handy if you need to do a quick field strip uh, out at the range. Slide on it is pretty smooth. But I will say, it does make um, kind of an odd sound when, I don't know... I don't know if you can hear that. Listen, it almost like a zipper on zipping or something. I don't quite know what that sound is. It's the only gun I have that does that. It's really annoying. I don't like it. It's it's, I don't know, I feel like it could be a little more smooth and I don't know if there's something inside it rubbing that's making that weird sound. Gun comes with uh, 10 round magazines, of course, uh, double stacked, and uh, these are actually pretty expensive magazines if you want extras. You can swap them out with the Tang Folios or the CZ75s, um, but uh, I looked for some to see if I could pick some extras up and they are pretty pricey. I think they're right around like uh, 60 bucks. So, uh, just from the ones I found, I don't know, maybe you can find them cheaper. Anyway, I'm going to do some shooting here. Let's uh, hit some steel and see what's what. downside to this gun that I actually um, can complain about is the finish bothers me because it gets beat up so easily and I really really am a, a one who likes to take care of my guns and keep them looking good and uh, and I hate seeing it get all beat up like that and even like little things just from the slide release going up and down I can actually see bare metal underneath the finish now um, and uh, you know there's a little scratch on the top here I see now and you know that just is so easy to mark up and if you're you know into not beating up your guns at all you're not going to shoot this one too much because it does get beat up real easily uh, everything else about it I like yes you want one of these if you like this style gun the CZ 75 but you want to get something a little different if you're a fan of IWI like me this is a really really good gun there's lots of options if you prefer the polymer frame whatever caliber you prefer it's got enough weight I'm sure it would work really well with the 45 caliber um, or anything else you can throw at it if you want to be really unique look for that 41 Action Express um, I don't know why you don't want to buy the 41 Action Express good luck finding ammo um, but the 9mm I highly recommend really really good gun uh, shoots well uh, a little bit of practice with this thing and I think it would certainly be my go-to gun.